climbing upward? Uh, it is. Climbing upward? Yeah. And it is. This is a transgressive. Right? So what happened was the sandstone was the seashore and barrier islands and things like that. And the shale was offshore, you know, in the tidal zone where the muds were coming in. And then the limestone or the dolomite was way offshore beyond the reach of the sediment coming down off the continent. Skiing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, I guess there's no information. Oh, wait, there's some. Hey, I'd move over. bikers as people who live in this town. See all the snails. Uh, spot, all these black spots are snails. So the, the sand bed was too strong to cleave under these conditions. The shale bed was weak enough to cleave. It's a function of temperature, partly. In fact, it's almost a thermometer, geothermometer. So for the sandstone to be weak enough to cleave, the temperature has to be above about 300 degrees. But for the shale to cleave, the temperature only has to be above about 180 degrees. What they used was coal particles. So coal, as it gets hotter and hotter, coal uh, becomes shinier. And so you can just measure how reflective the coal is. And uh, that is actually uh, like a continuous record of how hot the coal got. Like, you know, anthracite and bituminous and all that. And anthracite's real shiny. Cooking coal is extremely shiny, you know. So people worked out a whole, a whole thermometer system. So these rocks actually were super mature for oil. But I was just pointing out the cleavage. See the separation. And then the bedding plane. Mm -hmm. so the, they alternate. The sand bed is not cleaved, but the shale beds are cleaved. So uh, couldn't find any slick insides here. Uh oh. <laughs> 